When I first started using Next.js, I ran into a little bit of a, a tricky issue that I, I didn't quite know what it was at first. And this issue relates to caching. And what is what was going on is basically I would update my user interface or I would update my backend and add some new data, but that data wouldn't appear on the page. So I'm going to demonstrate this. I've built this little demo application here to where I've hooked up Superbase to my Next.js application. So I just have these products on this page, and then we have a page to where we can add a new product. And then ideally we go back to this products page and then we see that product. So let's go ahead and look at what the issue is. I'm gonna add a new product and I'm just gonna say demo test product, demo test product, and let's make it $200. And when I click add product here, you're not going to see any sort of feedback right away because I didn't add that to this application, but we can just assume that this product exists in Superbase once I click add product. So I'm going to click add product and then we're going to go to view products and see if this product exists. So add product and then view products. And we see in this case, it exists. But let's try this again. Let's do just one, some description, 23, add product. And then I'm going to just click the back button in my browser. And we click the back button, but we, we don't see the product here. And let me show you the page here. And if I click refresh, we now see the product. So clearly something's going on here. Let, let's do that again. So add product. I'm going to just put a two another description, $1, add product, back button. I don't see anything. Refresh, now I see it. So that's not really what we want. And I think I can also reproduce it by just clicking the view products link. Let me see. Actually, I forgot to click add product. That was my fault, not the, the cache's fault. Let's do this quick. Add product, view products. We don't see it. I refresh and now we do see it. So what's, what's going on here? Well, effectively, when I come back to this products page, Next.js is just showing the cached data by default, and it's not showing the new products from our database that we added. So how can you fix this? Well, the fix is pretty easy. Let's go over to the code here. And you can see that I have this server action that we're using to add products to Superbase. It basically just inserts it into the database and lets me know if there's an error. But one thing that we're missing here is we should use the revalidate path function from the next cache and then pass in the path that we want to revalidate. And in this case, we want to revalidate the home path because we need to make sure our home page is updated with the new products and it's not just returning data from the cache. So what this is basically doing is add a new product. If there's not an error, revalidate the cache for our home path. And you can do different strategies here as well. You can, of course, pass in a relative path right here. And then you can also use revalidate tags, which I'm not gonna get into here, but just conceptually speaking, after adding something to your database like this with a server action or something, you're probably going to want to use some sort of revalidation technique so you're not potentially showing stale data to the user. So now let's see if this fixed the issue. Let's add a new product. Let's do that. Let's do a description. Let's do $123. Let's add a product. Let's click view products. And we see the product right here. Let's do that again so you know I'm not lying. I'll call this one revalidate. And then we'll type in a description. We'll type in this price. We'll click add product. And now I'll click the back button this time just to make sure both work. And it looks like the product is there. So it looks like it is successfully revalidating now. And we're not running into the issue to where it's just showing stale data when we go back and forth between pages. And if you want to check out the, the docs here for Revalidate Path, I'll, I'll link this in the description below. There's definitely more that you can do here, but 
I think that as long as you understand the concept of maybe in some cases, if you're seeing issues to where you're not seeing stuff on the screen to where you would expect to, and you have like some sort of server action to where you're adding stuff to a database, well, you might be running into the issue to where you need to revalidate the Next.js cache. And I find revalidate path to be the most straightforward way to do this. And you can see different methods of, of doing it here if you want. But I think the most important thing here is just conceptual understanding how you could revalidate the cache if you're not seeing the expected data. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick video and quick Next.js tip. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in that next one.